After watching this video, you will learn how to make a door transition in film or IX, like this one. Hello video creators. My name is Sali Ali, welcome to Sali Tutorials. In this video I am going to show you a great trick in film or IX, called door transition, which is amazing. Before that, if you are new here, please subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video sure to give a thumbs up. So let's move on to the video. Drag the video to the timeline. I have a video like this. For this door transition you must also have a video in which the door is closed and opened. Place the playhead where the door begins to open. Now go to sample colors and click on sample colors. Find the green color picture inside the colors here. Drag and drop the green picture into the track above with the playhead. Extend the duration of the picture to the end. Double click on the picture. Minimize the width of the picture from both sides. So it will become a thin line. Also rotate this thin line according to the door. And place this line where the door opens. Get a copy of this picture. Right click the picture, and then click copy. Now click on this plus sign at the top left of the timeline, and then click add video track. So you can see we have a new track on the timeline. Now paste the copied picture with the playhead in this new track. Now go to animation and click on animation and then on Customize and add a keyframe to the start of the track picture below and then click on the picture of the track above and add a keyframe to the start here as well move slightly ahead of the playhead and select the track picture below and in this second keyframe the picture of the bottom track has to be roll out to the right Now select the second picture of the track above. And in this second keyframe, the picture of the above track has to be roll out to the left. At the same time, the rotation of both the pictures has to be adjusted and the middle area has to be covered. As long as the door opens, this way I adjust the keyframes in both pictures. Keep watching the video.
so you can see that we have adjusted the keyframes in both the pictures. As soon as the door is opened, the green picture is seen there, and the area outside the door is closed by the green picture. Now you do this where the door opens completely, and after the keyframes are finished, move the playhead to the end of the keyframes. Select all three footage. And split all three footage where we place the playhead. And delete the last extra parts. Now we need to export it. Click the export button above. After setting the video quality, etc., click the export button below. When the video is exported, click the find target button and get easy access to the video location. Now import this exported video by dragging and dropping it into film or a media. Delete everything from the timeline. So I have this exported video, which you can watch I played. Now drag and drop this video into the second track of the timeline. After that, you need to import a background video into Filmora. I have these two background videos. Now I'm going to use one of those background videos. I drag and drop this video into the track below the timeline. Now move the playhead forward where the green screen appears in the video above. Select the video of the track above. And click on the green screen tool. And then inside the green screen tool, select the picker tool. And click on the green screen area on the display screen. OK. So you can see that when the door opens, the background video is visible in the door as well. Now we also have to add transitions. Move the playhead to where the door opens slightly. And then split the video above here. Go to transition and click on transition. And drag and drop the flash transition between the split parts of the tracks above. So here we have the door transition successfully created. Let's see. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please comment and let us know how you felt about today's door transition. We will be very grateful to you. And thanks a lot for the friends who share their opinions with us. So if this video helps you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, keep creating better video with Solid Tutorials. Bye.